beautiful people of Earth and beyond, if you are from beyond, what's up? How you doing? I don't know what I should say to you because if you're from beyond the Earth, probably don't speak English. I'm hoping you do. Well, anyway, hey guys, it's Katie. So, <coughs> so today, um, when you're watching this, I will be coming home from Disney World for my spring break trip with my best friend Shelby. And if you follow my social media links below, I'll put the links, I always do. Then you'll be able to see some cool pictures because I was celebrating my 16th birthday down there and yeah, it was really fun. Um, so I probably will, I'll see if I can do a vlog any of the other days and I'll post that as next week's video. Otherwise, I'll probably just put the video I'm going to film a little later up there, whatever. To celebrate Disney, I'm going to do the Disney tag. Just because I'm coming home from Disney and I just, it'll be my 47th trip and I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna look it up on my iPad right now. Let's see how this works. I'm a little sniffly, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's called having allergies and it gets in, it went from 30 something one day and then 72 the next day. <sighs> As many of you probably know, I've been to Disney now 47 times. I've been on at least six or seven of the cruises. And I've seen oh, I've seen every single Disney movie, and I am just a Disney fanatic. Ask me anything, I most likely I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time I can answer that question. If you want help on planning a Disney vacation, I can help pl help plan it for you. Pretty much, I am the Disney expert, and so let's see how I do on this tag, and you'll know a little bit more about how crazy I am about Disney. A scene in any Disney movie you wish you could experience. I wish. I could experience um, the whole ball ball scene from Cinderella, where she just walks out there and everyone just looks at her and thinks she's the most beautiful girl out there, and then she gets a prince. <sighs> I'm pathetic. An unforgettable experience slash moment you've had at the parks. Um, actually, okay. I had a bunch, like literally a bunch. I had my first kiss in Disney. That was one. It was down, but it was in downtown Disney, so that doesn't count. Um, well, I did get asked out underneath the fireworks by one of my friends on the Disney trip for band. That was a good experience. That was cute. Um, and oh, I know, I know a good one. I know a good one. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. I, um, it was around my parents' anniversary, my parents' anniversary, actually. So, we were down there, and I was saying, and I had a button that says, I'm celebrating, and, um, because my parents had the anniversary buttons and stuff like that for celebrate you, whatever, and so, um, we were in Hollywood Studios, and people just kept giving us free stuff because it was their anniversary, and I was like, oh, cool, but then they told me, they're like, what are you celebrating, honey, and we were at, uh, the Great Movie Ride by the Chinese Theater, and I was just like, I'm with my parents for their anniversary, and then, um, they told me, uh, that to pick any square I wanted, so I picked the one next to Robin Williams, rip in peace, and, um, this is before he died, and I was, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I love Robin Williams, so I picked the square next to him, and they told me that they were gonna take my foot in my hand, and they were gonna give, like, a hand and foot chalk thing, like the, you know, like, the, um, <clears throat> those squares in the Chinese theater where you can, like, put your hands in the, um, the cement, and then you write your name in it. Yeah, I got my own square of that, and it was so cool, and I was like, oh my gosh, and they made me a celebrity for the day, and they gave me a certificate and everything, and it was just the best experience of my life. <laughs> it was that, that was a good experience, and then also, um, oh, and then one time for the Year of a Million Dreams, where they were giving away, like, the free nights in Royal Castle, got in the past passes and stuff like that, I was on uh, Space Mountain with my friends, and uh, my dad, and their dad, and our moms were outside, so my mom's disabled, so, uh, her friend, her friend, my friend's mom, were just out there waiting for us. And we got off the ride and they said, hey, how many's in your par party? And we're just like, seven. And they're like, okay, well, we chose you today to get the free fast the free fast pass things for all these attractions. And what it was, it was like a little lanyard and it had this big like card that had little fast pass tabs on the sides of them and each one had a special attraction. So it was basically a big card of fast passes for basically every ride in Magic Kingdom at the time that had fast pass cubes. It was awesome. We're just like, sweet. <laughs> cool memories. What non-Disney songs remind you and brings you back to memories in Disney or Disneyland parks? Um, Celebrate You. That's a good memory. Uh, cause it's just, that was a, it wasn't a Disney song at first. So that counts. Or Good Life by One Republic. Yeah, that wasn't a Disney song before. 
Um, oh, oh, okay. Do You Remember by Jay Sean. Okay, that song was playing everywhere um, one year. Literally, I was on, I went to Disney for three times. I go about three or four times a year, or, or four and four, or four and five sometimes. I can't talk today. And uh, one year, we went like three trips in one year, and um, literally, whenever we rode a boat to, down to downtown Disney, or went anywhere in downtown Disney, or anywhere off, just off the parks, not in the parks, that song was playing. So now whenever I hear that song, I can't help but think about Disney. <laughs> it's on my iPad and my phone my life. When was the first time you went to a Disney park? Um, 1999? 2000? I was a few months old. 1999? Yeah, I was a few months old. Uh, my mom always wanted to go as a child. My dad went twice to Disneyland when he was a kid, but my mom didn't really have that much money growing up. So she told me, so basically she promised that she wanted me to have the life she's always wanted growing up. And so she was like, well, we're going to take her to Disney because we went down to St. Petersburg with my family. And then they're like, let's take one day and go to Magic Kingdom. And my mom told me that she walked through those gates and she cried. She just started crying. She's always dreamed of taking of going there. And then she took her daughter there. And I was like, aww, that's so sweet. If you could choose any of the characters to be your best friend, who would you choose? Oh, that's- I have to choose one? I would choose Dumbo, because Dumbo is literally my favorite movie. It's my favorite Disney movie, but he's my favorite Disney character. He's so adorable! And then, like, I could ride the flying elephant everywhere. If I wanted to go fly somewhere, I'd be like, hey Dumbo, let's go! And then I could just love on his and love his ears. <laughs> I just love Dumbo so much. <laughs> Literally, I have I have Dumbo Mickey ears. They're downstairs. I would wear them right now and show you, but I I love Dumbo so much. I have like four Dumbo Dumbo stuffed animals back there. Back there. My vanity. Dumbo is the best. Um Who are your favorite Disney princesses? Um, my favorite's Aurora. I also love Belle and Cinderella. Everyone's like obsessed with the Little Mermaid and I'm just like, I like Belle because she's cute. And I love Aurora because Aurora's just fabulous. She's literally my favorite. Aurora's my favorite. Aurora, definitely. I've always wanted hair like hers because I've always had like light bl blonde hair until it started getting darker as the seasons change. And, um, I've always wanted to know how she gets her hair so perfectly curly and golden and I want- Ugh! I want Aurora hair so bad. So bad. Name a scene or a moment in any Disney movie that never fails to make you cry. Oh, great. This is a hard one. Um, the first, like, 15 minutes of Up. Uh, always makes me cry. What is the first Disney movie you remember seeing? Um, I used to be obsessed with A Bug's Life. Apparently when I was like three, for one whole summer, um, I watched Bug's Life over and over and over and over again every single day during that summer. Cause my mom's teacher, so she would spend the summers with me. And um, she told me that she knew every single line in that movie and she still does. Like she quotes it still to this day. But I feel like I also remember seeing Dumbo and all the other stuff, I don't know. I really don't know. Apparently my parents took me to, to see Chicago, a musical about people, girls who are in jail for killing their husbands and men when I was a baby. Yeah, I don't, I couldn't really answer that question. And finally, what is your favorite Disney movie? I think I already answered this one. It's Dumbo. I just love Dumbo so much. If you've ever seen Dumbo, it's on Netflix. Go watch it. I highly suggest you should. It's just so cute. <laughs> Dumbo. Be my best friend. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my random Disney tag stuff. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will see you guys later, hopefully without all the sniffliness. See ya!